Hello again. Welcome back to the Lifecraft server. This is going to be the 32nd episode and the second of, I've now decided, three as we go through Cosmo's Maze. Now, it uh, may look like I'm in some sort of green screen area, except it's slightly more... This is this dark pink. But actually I'm outside um, Wither and Enigma Craft's shooting game, which is next to Cosmo's Maze. So uh, I think we'll try this since it's up for use now and I will try pressing the right key so I have things. Uh, instructions. I just have fun. And press to start. Chest of empty. The scores chest, which is already empty. So I guess I should get my bone idol ready. And then we will give it a go. Oh no, I've got a point. If there's no ding, no ding. Whoa, nah. Sort of have to be pretty ready. There we go. I think I got that one. Yes. So, come on, what have I missed? Points, apparently. Don't know what that was. Nope, missed again. The higher ones are harder, I think. I'm actually standing in the right place. There's some sort of marker there. Maybe the score chest is supposed to be behind you. But, uh... Right. No, I'm still too low there. That's annoying. Gotcha. Quite high up to get those there, I think. Don't know. Oh, I got it. Got it, yeah. This is the right place to point. So we do that, yes. Maybe? Yes. So there are three more sections of the Cosmos Maze to go in this episode. Uh, there is, including the infamous parkour section, which I believe has been responsible for much rage, and I can see why. But, uh, oops, missed. But uh, we do make it through that one, so, well, there's also the button room, I think, and uh, finding the exit from a room with five doors, which is more difficult than you might think. How many of these we get? No, missed. Oh, no, I got it. Maybe? Yes. So, and then, uh, and then we'll have another episode after that, uh, which has, um, actually, I've kind of forgotten at this point. I'll have to remind myself. But there's definitely another maze involved. Uh, oh, in a shooting archery game. Uh, as if we don't have enough of those here already. And maybe another one. I'm got some plans for. I think is that over? I think we're over. Let's go and see what our score is. Twenty-five. So uh, pop that in the book. Cool. I only want to put one in. Um, it's better better than you, but better score in. So, oh, we need two. Their name, twenty-five. And then, um, so that'll get out nine out of the time, I guess. Anyway, while I'm doing this, you can wander off in over there and uh, watch me struggle at parkour and stuff. Okay, we can't go up. We can go down. Yep, 
26 minutes. Probably not good. Right. Is there a lab key here? Level 2, button madness. Button gives you the... One button gives you the nug key, which must be played inside the hopper, which will turn one of two lights on. When the key expires, that lamp will go out. Another button will turn on the other lamp, but will expire. If both lamps are on, the exit door will open, but then, quick as it won't stay up and long. Right. So, where's my key? One button gives you the nug key and the other opens the door. Good luck. Both redstone lamps have to be on to open the door. Insert nick key turns the lamp one on for a limited time. Right, okay, well that is a long enough door. Other lamps. Oh, they're there. So, one of those on the floor. Four there. Let's try the other one. One. Thing. And the button will give it to you. None of the wall lights. I'll switch the light on or give me a nug. So. Ah, there we go. Nug key. Christian, do both you have to have both lights on? Another opens the door. One button gives you the key, another opens the door. Both red side lamps have been able to open the door. So one of these buttons should turn on the light. That's what I'm thinking. Does it only turn on the light if the other light is on? In which case I have to put the nug key in first. So I may be wasting time here. the chickens are going to be. Ah. Get out of the way, chickens. It's a very brief light on. Uh, where is it? Let me have a memory like a sieve. Why do this to me? Which one it was? Maybe th up to half an hour, right? Not that one. Not that one. It's that one. Second one in. And then the one down here is this one? This one. And this one.
Where is it? This one? This one? Find this rag. Pretty sure it was that rag. There we go. Fourth one down from the end. So we can throw this in. And hit that one. And run for the door. Next. One in five. Find the correct door to progress. Nothing more to it, really. Good luck. Okay. That's better save point. Which we didn't do with the last one. Please close flap after use. You. Oh, is that a way out then? Yes. Five doors. The way out, or is this the correct door to progress? Well, let's try it. Oh crap, I've got to close this door. I mean, you think it was an exit, it would have been marked as an exit, but uh, there we go. Ugh. Trolled. Nice try, though. <laughs> Should have guessed from how slow this progress is here. I just left my fan on, so if you do hear it in the background, things. Um, middle, left, or right? I'm on the left, so let's see where this goes. Yeah, so I had a fan on. Apologies for any background noise there. There we go. Swimmy time. Must be a lefty wrong door trying again. Okay. That's true. Well, what was that about then? Double troll. Try the centrist door. I can go down. Well, you can't descend quickly on these, I guess. Well, because you can't ladders either, so there's that. Uh huh. Wrong door. So it is on the right. So we have to say that Cosmo is on the right on this sort of thing. Which is a sad indictment of modern politics. Yeah, I could be ignoring the fact that it's possible to go and then close yourself in. But no, you can't go anywhere from here, so assuming that is not the case, let's go this this door. Might be another elaborate troll. Or is this the actual real exit? Yeah, it's the real exit. Setting that. 
Parkour. We all love a bit of parkour. If you fail to jump to go back to the start again, trust me, you have no choice. Done. Okay. Now, I guess we have to go that way. Oops. Ooh, soul sand. Evil boy. Oops. Uh -oh, we all love those. Nope, miss it. I should point out that due to many, many episodes of playing uh, Fall Guys, I'm pretty sure I've broken my space bar. So, um... If any, I'm going to blame any bad jumps on that. Oops. Need to have enter chests here. Ooh, that's not going to work. Does that need to be a running jump or not? I'll just jump out straight over, to be honest. No. But, uh... Perhaps we need to shift land on that. It's not my favourite. No, I especially want to do that. Sure, give it a try. Possibly, I didn't even try it, so we'll never learn until we try it. There we go, that's fine. Let's have a snap. Oh, uh, that was me. I'm thinking you're going to be jumping over the iron bar. Makes me think I can make it. Yeah, see, might have been a trick one. Have some, uh, I think we'll find our food. Oh, it's ladder jumps. Jump around there, I forget. What do I hear? Nope. No. I see, uh, with the space bar not working. a few times. I don't know if you can make that or if it's around the corner. This is a tricky choice. Space bar, don't fail me now. I'll take you off and mess with you a bit. Excuse me a second. Right, we're back in 
business. No, I don't think you can make that, but then can you get around that way? I forget how this parkour works. There we go. Like uh, what do you call it? Red herring. Oh, that was a foolish jump as well. Missed. Ha. <laughs> And we just failed. Come on, jumpy, jumpy. No. Jump, jump, jump. wrong somehow. Didn't realise what I did that it worked. When you, when you think oh I have to go up ladders. Well that was even worse than before. I'm hitting the wall aren't I? So close. We can move back a little bit. Oh, and we didn't jump again because of that space bar. The edge. Look over there. Move back slightly. And fail. What about can't we? It's neat. Run and jump. I think we worked out our strategy. Jump, damn it, jump. Oh, and it didn't, keys didn't work again. I like this keyboard, I don't get a new one. Did you press the button at the start of the Parker level? Oh. You cheeky goit. Cheeky goit. Right, by the way. Pro tip everyone, start your recording before you start your spiel. So, I just popped in here to check how the scores are going on behind me in the little room, and it does not look like we are going to be winning the first prize because there has been a much faster challenger. But no, 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 I guess it was all in fun. I may actually, once this is all done, try and speed run this uh, as quickly as possible. And there are, of course, some things that you can learn, such as the route through the maze, and which 
rooms you need to doors you need to go through to get out in various places. But of course the scores from the um like the shooting gallery bit are gonna be uh open to luck, I guess more than anything else. But anyway, we're over with this one. Return in a week for the final part of the Cosmaze Guy Maze. And don't forget to visit everyone else, particularly Cosmo, who's made this a fine challenge for us all. And uh, Wither, who made that out there, along with Enigma, who did the redstone for it, I believe. And uh, my other fellow Lifecrafters, who've also taken part in this. And I'll see you again in a week or so. Bye for now.